seashell that I find I remember God made everything Hello everyone in Little Village, welcome back to week three of our series Stack It Up, where we're stacking up all our learning and this month our series is reminding us that God made everything and over the last two weeks we've learned that that included the light and the dark and the sky and the water and the land, plants and sea and the sun and the moon and the stars. So many wonderful things that God has made. Did you remember to tell your grown-ups that you live with about all the things that you've learned God made? Don't forget to tell them. Well, today we're going to learn how he made all of the sea animals and the birds. So many interesting creatures that swim and fly and they're all good because who made everything? God made everything. Good job, you know it. Okay, so let's head over to Ollie and his friends and hear more of the wonderful true story of creation from the Bible. Let's listen. Ooh, ooh. You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you. Hi, friends. I'm Hayden. My clubhouse friends made a fun game for us to play, and I love playing games. Look at these giant bowling pins. There's a special picture on the bottom of each pin. I'm going to use this ball to knock down a pin. Then we can look at the picture on the bottom to see something God made. Let's give it a try. Count to three with me. One, two, three, go! Look what's on this pin. Shout out if you know. Yes, God made fish. Wouldn't it be awesome to swim like a fish? Pretend to swim like a fish with me. Put your hands together. Now swim, little fishies. Let's try another one. Count to three with me. One, two, three, go. Look at this. Shout it out if you know what it is. Yes, God made birds. Can you imagine how amazing it would be to fly like a bird? Flap your wings like this. Now say tweet, tweet. Great job. It's fun being a bird. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Do you want to be a feathery bird too? Oh, hi, Ollie. It must be so fun to fly. Birds are special. It's true. I know who made the birds and fish, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. What is that beautiful sound, Stormy? Oh, <laughs> friends, I'm Carrie the dog walker and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. Can you help us figure out what that sound is? Put your hand to your ear like this and listen with us. What do you hear? You're right, those are birds. Do you like the sound of those birds, Stormy? <laughs> well, there are lots of birds in today's true story from the Bible. Are you ready for our story? If you're ready, can you tweet like a bird? Tweet, tweet. <laughs> you sound ready to me. <laughs> okay, so we've been learning how God made everything. On day one, God made light and dark. Then on day two, God made the sky above the water. On day three, God made the land, plants, and sea. Then on day four, God made the sun, moon, and stars. God looked at everything he had made and saw that it was good. Can you say, it's good? Ready? 
It's good! God had already made so many creative, wonderful, beautiful things, but he wasn't done yet. God made even more. So on day five, God said, let the water be filled with lots and lots of sea animals. Let's think, what kind of animals live in the water? When I count to three, I want you to tell me one animal that lives in the water, okay? One, two, three. That's right, God made sea turtles, God made seahorses, God made whales and sharks, God made fish, so many different kinds of fish. God made big fish and little fish in all colors and shapes. Do you know what kind of fish this is? It's a clownfish. Do you know what kind of fish this is? It's a rainbow fish. Do you know what kind of fish this is? It's a goldfish. Can you make a fish face with me? Ready? <laughs> you all made such good fish faces. On day five, God filled the sea with lots and lots of sea animals. And God made something for the sky too. Shout it out if you know what animal God made to fly in the sky. That's right. On day five, God made birds. God made so many beautiful birds. Let's see if you know what color these birds are. What color is this bird? <laughs> yes, it's blue. God made birds that are blue. What color is this bird? Yep, it's pink. God made birds that are pink. And what color is this bird? <laughs> this bird has lots of colors. God made all different kinds of birds. God made so many awesome fish to swim in the sea and so many beautiful birds to fly in the sky. When God made all the fish and birds, he saw that it was good. Can you say, it's good? Ready? It's good. On day five, God made fish and birds. Only God can do that. God is so creative and so powerful. God made everything. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who made everything? God made everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true. God made the fish and birds and everything. All for me and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow! God made the fish to swim in the sea and birds to fly in the sky. God made everything. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm going to keep bowling to see all the things that God made. See you next time. Ah, oh, that's amazing, isn't it? Such a good reminder that everything is good because God made it. Before we sing, let's pray together, shall we? Dear God, thank you for the true story of creation and everything that you've made. When we see the birds in the sky this week, would you help us to remember that they are made by you? And because you made them, they are all very, very good. Amen. Yeah, look out for birds this week. And when you see them, say to everybody that you're with, God made the birds. Okay, let's sing our song that reminds us that God made everything, including us. And he made us just the way we are. Let's sing together. Whoa, whoa. From the moon to the sunshine Every seashell that I find I remember God made everything 
mountains By your love I'm surrounded I remember God made everything God made me just the way I am He made the whole world with His hands God made me just the way I am Way I am, way I am Oh, 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 oh God made me just the way I am Oh, 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 oh God made me just the way I am Waking up in the morning If it's sunny Pouring. I remember God made everything From this life that I'm living To these hands that I'm lifting I remember God made everything God made me just the way I am He made the whole world with His hands God made me just the way I love it. Now we've got a Bible verse that we've been learning over the last few weeks. I think you're already so good at it. It helps us remember that God made everything. So let's listen to it, shall we? God saw everything he had made and it was very good. Genesis 1:31. God saw everything he had made and it was very good. Genesis 1:31. Great, we can do that. I know that you know it already. Let's have a go. God saw everything he had made and it was very good. Genesis chapter 1, verse 31. Brilliant. Well done, everybody. Keep practicing that verse at home. Say it to the people that you live with. Well, if you're here with us, then we've got some crafts and activities to do and enjoy. If you're watching from home, we really hope that you'll join us again next week. See you next week, little villagers. Bye.